Welcome to the gap. This is the gap. Yeah. They should have never gave you platform. What's good with y'all out there? I'm Kamal, and this is The Gab, episode 45. Woo, 45, baby. Hey, aim the 45 at you. It ain't play games with you. It's the aim at you. Man, y'all know what fucking bar that is. I don't need to say shit. Look it. <clears throat> For my tubers out there, YouTube been around since 2005. Y'all know what to do to get the channel and the video booming. You want to find me? Go to Kamal Johnson ENT. Bam! Pop right the fuck up. For my potters out there, I'm on Apple Podcasts, I'm on SoundCloud, and I'm on Google Podcasts. All you gotta do is type in either The Gab or Kamal Johnson ENT. Bam! And I pop right the fuck up. Hey man, if y'all listening or if y'all watching, give yourself a fucking hand. Yee! I like to thank my sponsors, first place losers. The link to the shop gonna be in the description below. Y'all go check it out. I'm rocking the new gear. Hope you fucking with it. If you do, go to the shop. Buy some. I got sweaters, crew neck, t-shirts, all that shit. Women, men's, kids. Don't matter. Go and buy it. You feel me? Support your boy. Yeah. On that note, we gonna hop right into the motherfucking show. Look, man. We got to talk about what the fuck is going on at these fucking colleges, bruh. Howard University to be one of them. Historically black college. God damn the bullshit that's happening, bruh. Bruh, Howard got a nice little uh, campus, too. I've been there, like, three years ago for uh, Howard Homecoming, like, around Halloween, around October or some shit like that. Beautiful, beautiful campus. But I didn't know the dorms was like this. God damn, the dorms are shitty. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shitty ass dorms. What the fuck? Flooding. Moldy walls. Ceilings is crumbling. I think when Kid Cudi meant the sky might fall, I don't think he meant like that. <laughs> God damn. Shitty Wi Fi. How are they supposed to do their homework? Huh? The president of fucking Howard University. Came out today or something, made some speech. They don't give a fuck about that speech. These niggas are protesting and living in tents and shit. What the fuck? Fix the housing. God damn. <laughs> Bro, students pay up the wooza to go to these colleges. No matter if it's fucking grants or if they got them paying out their pocket or their parents paying or if you got to get fucking financial aid and student fucking loans. We paying all that fucking money to live in bullshit. These niggas, bro, living with fucking Master Splinter and shit. Master Splinter come in the motherfucking, come in their door, bow, kicking the door. Where the fuck my turtles at? Students like, nigga, get the fuck out of here. What's this big ass rat doing in here talking about where his turtles at? God damn. Master Splinter's like, I'm going to show you the way. After you shut the fuck up and sit down and get my motherfucking pizza. <laughs> yeah, Master Splinter was eating pizza too. Fuck out of here. It wasn't just a Ninja Turtles. That nigga was eating pizza and all types of shit. Yeah, but they living with big ass rats. It's like the fucking slums. What the fuck, man? It More than 1,200 students are being affected by this shit. Howard! Howard! What are you doing? Howard! University. Ah, oh, terrible. And look it, it just ain't only Howard University. Look it. When I was living in the dorms at San Diego State University, they had shitty conditions too. Plumbing was always fucked up. They had these big ass roaches that they call water bugs. No, that's a big ass roach. Roach this goddamn big. Motherfuckers. First time I saw that shit, I thought I saw an alien. I was like, those are aliens. That is the alien right there. God damn. Shitty ass condition. We live, bro, they have shitty ass bunk beds. Prison beds better than that shit. And I ain't never been to prison. I just assume they better than that shit that they had in the dorms. God damn. Them beds was fucking terrible. 
Woke up with neck pains, back pains, back spasms. That shit was fucking bullshit. <laughs> oh my god, bruh. The dorms at colleges, bro, are nothing but fucking pool. God damn. Hold on, where the parts in? Where is my... There we go, right there. Pool. But all seriousness, look it. I commend the college students protesting for the shitty living conditions that they're living in. Especially since you pay so much fucking money to live at these dorms. And the colleges are getting so much money from other fucking programs, athletic programs, all that shit. And they just building up fucking new decoration shit, decoration buildings to make their shit look good. But the main thing that they need to reconstruct and have working and looking good, they don't give a fuck about. The dorms. So with that being fucking said, Howard University, get your shit together. All college universities, get your shit together. Fucking fix the dorms. God damn. We paying for this shit. Well, I used to pay for the shit. I feel they pain. Fuck these motherfuckers, man. Fuck these colleges. I say fuck these colleges if they gonna treat their students like this. This is bullshit. God damn. Master Splinter wouldn't fucking approve of this shit. And that nigga lived in the sewer. <laughs> That nigga lived in better conditions than this shit. He was like, there's no way my Ninja Turtles gonna live in a goddamn dorm. I'd rather you live in the sewer with me. At least my shit clean. Ain't no mold around. Only rat in this bitch is me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bruh. Jeez. I got my sources from the Washington Post. Look it, man. Only thing I can say is that the solution to this shit, the colleges need to redistribute their fucking funds to fix the fucking dorms. They got the money. Stop bullshitting. Fix the fucking dorms. Stop bullshitting. And the, and the students that's out there protesting and living in tents, kudos to fucking y'all. I wouldn't do the shit. Fuck them niggas. I would not fucking be fucking living in a goddamn tent protesting and shit. But I commend y'all. Hand claps for y'all. Good shit. Man. <clears throat> wow. Well, on that note, we're about to get into the SAF segment. Woo! In this movie, we about to motherfucking go over. Doom, da doom, doom. Doom, da doom, doom, doom. <laughs> we're going over Doom, part one on HBO Max. Look, this movie was long as fuck, but it was good. It was really good. I, I liked it. Even though they had Zendaya in that bitch for fucking 15 minutes, how y'all have her pre- You know what? I'm gonna save my rants. Let me give you the stats first. <laughs> IMDb gave it 8.2 and Rotten Tomatoes gave it an 83%. That means it was fresh. But fuck those critics. <laughs> Yeah, fuck them. This came out October 22nd, 2021. This was directed by Dennis Villanueva. Oh, man. Good directing. Give you a hand clap. Air horns for that, too. This was, very, this was fucking directed so well. Cinematography was so fucking on point. Storyline was on point. This was a really good fucking movie. I really fucking fuck with this. You know, it's so fucking long. And goddamn Zendaya was in it for, like I said, 15 minutes. Two and a half hour movie. And y'all previewed her in the trailer so goddamn much. I was like, okay. Every time this nigga fantasizing, Paul fantasizing about her, I'm like, okay, we are we going to see her? I know they're doing part two. She's going to be in more. But 15 minutes? Come on, guys. That was the only downfall of this movie. Don't preview somebody like Zendaya in the fucking trailers and shit, and you only have her in there for fucking 15 minutes. With her fine ass. I want to see her more. Uh-huh. <laughs> but this was a star set of cast. It has Zendaya as Shanae, Timothy Chamalit as Paul, had Rebecca Ferguson as Lady Jessica, and Oscar Isaac as Leto. Lady Jessica and Leto was Paul's mother and father. And it had Jason Momoa, and he was Duncan, and many more. 
Duncan was like the fighter soldier nigga that Paul grew a liking to, and he was the head soldier nigga. But anyway, this was American science fiction film, and it was a remake of of the 1984 Dune that came out. That's on HBO Max too. I'm gonna go watch that, and I might review it on here another time. But I need to watch the original in 1984. And the 1984, I watched like five minutes of it before I realized like, oh shit, this is the wrong Dune. <laughs> but it had like a Con Conrad type of feel to it. If y'all ever seen the movie Conrad or whatever, you will understand what I'm talking about. This Dune movie had more of a Star Wars kind of feel, futuristic ordeal. I seen how they were trying to film the shit in the direction that they was going in. Also, this is from the novel that came out in 1965 by Frank Herbert. So, yeah, man, it's a lot of history. They're remaking some shit. And they did a good job remaking it. So, basically, the movie is basically about this city. And uh, they have this thing called Spice. Spice is basically natural resources. It's a drug that make you basically more intelligent, stronger, than what you are naturally. And these people, the indigenous people there, it's like they breathe the spice and stuff like that, and it makes their eyes blue. That's how you could tell that they're from there and shit like that. It's the desert. You feel me? And so this one group came there, depleted the motherfucking natural resources, and then bamped out and left it to the tribe that Paul Nim is from. And they come in there like, I got to learn about the desert people and how they have their desert power so I could defeat the enemy that fucking depleted this fucking land. But at the same time, they come in there to get Spice to fucking take over their shit because you need Spice. It's the, the most important resource, resource to actually travel intergalactically and shit like that and to survive. So that's why Spice is so important. Uh... You have the one tribe, Paul and them tribe that come in there and Paul's the main character. He's the kid. He's basically the messiah. And he comes to this town and everybody like talks to him like he's the messiah and he doesn't know and then he figures out down the line. But also it's like he has the power of his mom. His mom like can control people with her voice and it's like called the voice. And she's like tell motherfucker, shut the fuck up. And then it could be, be like, She'd be like, go make me a sandwich, nigga. Like, would you like lettuce on that? Would you like a tomato? <laughs> shit like that. And so he getting that power. He trying to figure that shit out. And this nigga basically like goes to uh, Lady Jessica, her main trainer or whatever. And literally he figured out, like, oh, I'm starting to have this power. He put his hand in his box. It's a painful box thing. She put the needle to the paw neck and was like, you got to control your impulses. They think motherfucking guys can't control their impulses. We can, god damn it. And Paul showed it. <laughs> but, yeah, and then, like, the shit happened. He controlled it. And then Lady Jessica had the fucking talk with the head lady witch or whatever the fuck who she is. And she was like, I told you, you were supposed to birth daughters. And you go against my order and birth a son. And now this nigga about to be mad powerful. And... Lady Jessica was like, so? I don't give a damn. Whatever. <laughs> and then Leto is Paul's father. And Leto is the main soldier nigga. And like, I think this nigga is something with his, he has like a force field thing or whatever. And he's the one controlling it and shit like that. And that's like his power. And that they combine, whatever. And then Jason Momoa character, fucking Duncan, he's like, the head soldier nigga that whoops everyone's ass, but then he dies facing these other soldier niggas that the main villain bad guys, which they a bunch of, I guess they the, the bald nigga crew, because they were all bald headed. And I think they mad because the other crew had a head of hair, because all them had flourish hair and fucking beards and all that shit. That's, that's what this is. It's the bald niggas versus the hair niggas. <laughs> Versus the, versus the minorities. That's all. I figured it out. Boom. That's the movie. Damn. Doom. <laughs> nah, but basically the ball niggas, they, they trying to take over everything. And they know about Spice too. And they're trying to come over to this fucking uh, city 
and not on destroy Paul and his people, which they end up doing down the line. They ended up doing that shit. And the the reason for uh, Duncan, Duncan was supposed to go out there to where uh, Zendaya's people, I don't know what they called, but her people, and like bring back them so they could fight this other empire that's more powerful than the Bald Empire. That's what we're going to call them. The Bald Empire. And they got this one nigga, the main dude, this nigga like 10 feet tall. The motherfucker was sitting down, fat motherfucker, you slouching. I'm like, this nigga about to be mad short. Nigga started standing up. One knee, another kneecap, another kneecap. I'm like, God damn, how many knees this nigga got? This nigga like 10, 12 feet tall, standing up and like, <clears throat> basically, Duncan came back with the, the uh, head honcho of the indigenous people of the land that they're going to, Dune. Basically, the planet is called Dune. So they're going to Dune to get the main nigga from Dune. He come there. Lightweight, they think he disrespected because he spit on the table, but that's how they say hello, I guess. Whatever. But then he go back to his planet and was like, y'all, y'all niggas don't deserve to be here. And so what happened was the bald nigga empire end up fucking ambushing Paul's crew while they in Doom. And then basically also they have to learn it, uh, the habitat and the habitat is desert. The heat. Is a motherfucker out there, so they have to have these special suits that has water in them to protect them. And these big ass things called worms. Now, I don't know what movie came out first. I don't know if Dune or Tremors came out first, but they use the same concept. Where's the originality? Where's the originality? <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. Good lord. Jeez! Where was originality? But anyway, I had to learn about worms. And essentially, the Bald Empire ended up killing Duncan, Leto, and now Paul and Lady Jessica are together in Dune. They fucking bump into the uh to the other crew, Zendaya's crew. But Paul's been daydreaming about Zendaya the whole time. And this is what I mean. This nigga been daydreaming about her, and his daydream was five minutes, and then at the last fucking 15 minutes of the damn movie, Zendaya's character pops up. She in there for 20 minutes of a two and a half hour movie. What in the flying fuck was that? That was my only problem. Like, what the fuck was that bullshit? And that the movie was great. <laughs> you know, storyline had a lot of build up, had some action, fighting, and all that shit. But, uh, yeah, fucking Bald Empire murked his whole fucking crew and his family and shit. Now he's seeking vengeance and linking up with Zendaya crew and, like, he's about to learn the ways of the desert people and conquer the desert powers and be able to ride on fucking worms and things of that nature and extract spice from the Dune planet. And he already knows the ways of the wind and water, which they didn't show. They didn't show that nigga air bin no goddamn or water bin. No goddamn elements. Hopefully they show that in part two. Which might be three hours. Give me a three hour movie, part two. God damn. <laughs> and I'm gonna watch it because it was actually good. And I'm gonna watch the original. But um, yeah, that that was basically the, the end. He uh also Paul ended up and I I didn't like this. I didn't like this. Uh Paul ended up killing one of the black black dudes from Zendaya's crew. That's how he got... It's like a game. You get jumped in, but you got to kill a nigga. It's fucked up, man. Killed that motherfucker. He was trying his best not to kill him. And they're like, no, you got to murder him. This is the only way you could be down with us. And then his mom was like, he never killed a man before. And then the nigga had premonition of a fucking bloody sword. And we're just having all these fucking weird daydreams. And then he murked, bro. I'm like, man... They short on black people anyway. Now you murder another black person. Then what I'm also seeing is motherfuckers talk about, oh, this is the white savior. You coming to No, it's not. Shut the fuck up. It's not that bullshit. Shut that shit up. Shut it down. Stop it. Now, you could say more niggas coming over to take over indigenous people resources. Yeah, that that's more aligned to what this movie is doing. But that white savior shit is fucking bullshit. Shut the fuck up. Uh... But on that note, that was Dune. 
on HBO motherfucking Max. Look it. I say go watch the shit. You feel me? Because I thought it was a pretty good fucking movie. And also, I'm going to watch the original 1980, the 1984 version. Because that was looking pretty good too. And it might have some different things in that one than it had in this one. But, uh, um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop giving scores to movies. I'm gonna say if it's good or not. Y'all go watch it. Doing on HBO Max Part 1. The shit was good. Except they had Zendaya in there for fucking 15 minutes. Could have had her there in 30 minutes. I would have been alright. 30 minutes would have been cool. 15 minutes? What the fuck y'all niggas doing? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, man. You know what segment we about to get into. We about to get into Me Time. time. Woo! Fucking mean time. Hey. Let's get right into it. Alright, man. So we got SpongeBob. Oh, Sandy. <laughs> and SpongeBob is looking very suspicious. And he has a box in his arm. He's looking. Coming out of his pineapple house. And it reads. When everything in my life has been going smoothly for three days. That's it. That's all it reads. <laughs> you do look at suspicious like, wait a minute. Three days in a row ain't no bullshit happen? Oh, hell no. Some, 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 about, some bullshit about to happen. Some bullshit is about to happen. Where my motherfucking Spongebob left? <laughs> <laughs> yep. You start looking like, oh, hell no. Something crazy about to happen. Shit. Nah, man, stop thinking like that. Is shit going good in your life consecutive days in a row? It's supposed to be like that. That's how life's supposed to be, right? Ah, uh, I don't know. It'd be trials and tribulations. I'll be going through shit, too. You know what I mean? You get suspicious when shit like that happens. I see that. All right. For my potters out there. It got, I don't know if this Mary Kate or Ashley, the Olsen twins. From a full house, it's one of them, and she got the double revolvers. She out here, wow, wow, westing it, and it reads: When ass start popping up for stuff, I've only thought about inside my head. Oh shit, they watching. <laughs> ah shit, oh my, oh shit, since she got the pistols. <laughs> Gotta hit this. <laughs> this shit is so true, cause real talk. So, I've been watching Seinfeld, right? And today, I looked at uh on YouTube and on my home page, they had a video of like a review of Seinfeld. You know what that means, right? That means that they're watching, they're listening. They probably see me right now. But I don't give a damn. Come on in, motherfuckers. <laughs> I know what you're doing, and I don't fucking care. Advertise me the shit I like. Fuck that. I want it. But I want my cut, because I know y'all selling my information, you bitch-ass niggas. <laughs> you bitch-ass motherfuckers. Shit. That's why either Ashley or Mary-Kate on it like, you motherfuckers. I don't like it. And I see it. Alright, so it got this nigga that looked like um damn who this nigga look like? Look like a one of the football quarterbacks. He kinda looked like Jared Goff a little bit. <laughs> and Jared Goff and Derek Carr fucking splashed together. This be this nigga. I have no idea who this is, but he's giving a look like for my potters, he's giving a Oh god, I just skated face. And it reads, hello, this is the caption. Caption, I can't read. <laughs> hello, this is the captain speaking. We are currently flying over 30,000 feet. People with feet fetish. This guy look, oh God, 30,000 feet. Hubba, hubba, hubba. <laughs> hubba, hubba, hubba. God damn! <laughs> oh my God, bruh. 
30,000 feet. I wonder if a nigga in a plane really be thinking that they got a foot fetish. They said 30,000 feet. Where? Where them feet? I need them. I want some. I got to suck on them. <laughs> oh my God. Everybody be having fetishes. So, hey, you got a foot fetish? Get on the plane. It might get you off. <laughs> get you off the ground, you dirty niggas. <laughs> you fucking motherfuckers with dirty minds. I'm talking about get off the ground. <laughs> on that note, look it. If you've been watching, if you've been listening, give yourself a fucking hand. We'll give you fucking air horns too. Appreciate y'all. I like to thank my sponsor, First Place Losers, rocking the gear. If you feeling it? Link to the shop gonna be in the description below. Go copy some. I got sweaters. I got crew necks. I got shirts. I got all types of shit. I got women clothing, men clothing, soon to kid, be kid clothing. Y'all go out there, check out the shop, please. <laughs> Look it, for my tubers, look it, YouTube been around since 2005. Y'all know what to do to get the channel and video booming. I don't need to say anything. If you want to find me, Kamal Johnson ENT. Bam, I pop right the fuck up. For my potters, though, I'm on SoundCloud, I'm on Google Podcasts, and I'm on Apple Podcasts. All you got to do is type in Kamal Johnson ENT or The Gab, and bow, I pop right the fuck up. Woo! Episode. 45, baby, we back here like Jordan, nigga. Even though Jordan be motherfucking own prisons and have stocks in them and shit. <laughs> Woo, episode 45 on Kamal. This is the gab. On that note, I'm about to be out of here. Because I got a motherfucking word for not only the producers and fucking directors and executive producers of Dune. But I gotta talk to the Howard University president. Cause god damn it, I can't have Master Splinter living in the dorms like that when his sewer is way better. How the fuck did that happen? This was a gap. This was a gap. Ooh, yeah.